Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our fuel pump control modules in our GM Gen 4 applications. The fuel pump control module is going to allow us to vary the amount of voltage and amperage to the fuel pump to be able to achieve a target pressure in our fuel system. It's going to be dynamic, so our fuel pressure can constantly move around, whether they're going to be at idle or at full throttle high load conditions. Now we have to gain access to the fuel pump control module if we're working with something like a base Corvette or a base Camaro that was non-force induction. If we put, uh, let's say, a supercharger or a turbo kit and we're going to obviously run uh, positive manifold pressure and we need to really ramp up our fuel flow rate, we need to gain access because at the higher fuel flow rates, it's going to be commanded in the stock fuel pump control module programming to actually drop our pressure. So if we've installed a ZL1 fuel pump assembly or if we've went in and we've sold um, a ZR1 assembly that we can command a higher pressure, we need to reprogram this so it's all going to be working in unison and working correctly so that we get the fuel flow rate out of our fuel system that we're supposed to. So it's a relatively simple process. I'm going to be walking you through the feed forward style system so we can make sure we update our base table that's going to be feeding the amount of duty cycle to the fuel pump control module that's going to be programming and hitting our target pressure. It's going to make a lot more sense when we jump in here. We'll be taking a look at setting up some things in our VCM scanner so we can keep track of what's going on and making sense of this during our tuning process. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our fuel pump control module in our GM Gen 4 ECMs. We're going to find we have the ability to control our fuel pressure dynamically as we're operating at idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle conditions. And it's going to give us a lot of flexibility in how much our fuel system is going to be able to output. If we've upgraded our fuel pump, we can have more dynamic control over having that fuel pump command higher pressures when we get up to the higher fuel flow rates at wide open throttle conditions. It's going to give us a huge amount of adjustability and tuning window with our fuel system. So we definitely want to learn how to work with this. And up to this point, uh, maybe about two years ago, HP Tuners has released the fuel pump control module, uh, being able to program and write to it and read it. Before that, it was not able to be edited. So if we wanted to uh, get a little bit more out of our fuel system, we'd have to swap in a ZL1 or a CTSV fuel pump control module. Those are going to be programmed differently. We can actually go in and program our stock fuel pump control module now, and we don't need to go and remove it and purchase another one. So let's jump in here and take a look. First thing we need to do is do a vehicle read. So I'm going to jump up here and I'm going to go to read vehicle. Now, if we go to gather info here, uh, before we do the actual read, we have some choices. We find we have our ECM, our TCM, and then our fuel pump control module. Now, we could just read the fuel pump control module out by itself, or we could go read all of the uh, modules in, in, in together. Now, I would recommend to read them all together because when we're doing our fuel pump control module programming, it's going to be interfacing in the fuel system tab as we're going to be finding. There's going to be two different sections that we actually have to reference. One's going to be on the engine control side. The other is going to be on our fuel pump, uh, the fuel pump control module side. So we want to make sure we have them all together in the same file. If we just do the fuel pump control module read, it will exclude going and taking a look at that when we have this particular file open. So it's going to take a little bit of time here. I'm going to let it read all the modules. Um, we could go here if we did the gather info option. We can, can uh, go and uh, do, do not read to ignore module, but I would recommend not to do that. So let me do read right now, and we'll be patient while it does this read process. It's going to take a few minutes, and then we'll open up the file and start to discuss what we have in our fuel pump control module programming. Okay, so just finished reading all of the modules. Now what I'm going to do here is just save this um, as a particular date I'm working with this. So I'll put in my date here, and then I'm going to say stock FPCM, fuel pump control module, and then we'll go here and save. Now, um, looking at this, the first thing we're going to do to review our fuel pump control module data is jump into our fuel system tab here. When we jump into our tab, we're going to find we have our fuel pressure. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.